Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you the process for creating a drawing sheet for your part um, that we have here, at least a basic starter of a drawing sheet. This is not going to be 100% correct because we're going to miss some things, but we're going to focus on how to dimension the holes that we've just created for this particular assignment. Okay, um, before you get going, I just want to show you something really cool. It's not actually part of this, but if you go up to the inspect tab and you do an, a section analysis, it'll say we can cut away from a particular face. And so if I click this front face here, I can actually drag this arrow in and out and I can see here what the inside of the part looks like. And since this is two inches back, if I type in negative one, that'll be exactly halfway through. And I can see what the part looks like. So that's a really easy way for me to determine, you know, is this, is this part like I want it to be? Okay, and that does look correct. Okay, so this is a good thing to do to check you know, beforehand or if you ever wanna see inside of a part. So I'm gonna click cancel because I don't need that for now. What we do need to do is come up here and click on file. And we're gonna go new drawing from design. Okay, I'm going to click OK and save this. And it wants to know then, full assembly is fine. There's only one part. We're going to create, not from scratch, but we're going to use our English title block, the LNHS title block, and it's going to set up for us. We're going to click OK. Here's the drawing sheet that comes up. And it wants to know, first of all, what do we want to place? Okay, so we're going to change from the front orientation to the top orientation. You can see here now, I can see those holes, right? This is obviously too small, so I'm going to come over here. Oh, let's see here, 0.75. That looks okay. Let's go 0.75, okay? I'm going to click. I'm going to place that up here around the top, okay? And I'm just going to choose, okay? So I have this here. Now we have to add a little bit more. Okay, first things first, I'm going to come over here and with every circle, I need that center mark, right? The bullseye. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the outermost circle in each of these locations. So one, two, three. This one's tricky. Be careful. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. See how you got all these? You got the threading and you got the inner hole and you got the outer hole here. So the easiest thing I think to do is come up here and click on the dashed line. You see how it goes all the way around? There's our fourth. Okay, so now we have our four center marks and we're able to dimension those. Okay, and normally we would actually say, how far is it from the left edge? So I would want to see those one inch spacing show up. And I would also so want to see that it's halfway from the front to the back. So this is two inches here, which means it's one inch here. But we're going to ignore that for now. I'm just going to show you how to create a couple of other things. So first of all, right click and I'm going to choose OK. I'm done with the center mark. We're going to go place what's called a section view. So we're going to come up here, and a section view is right here. It wants to know first what the parent view is. So in this case, click, there it is. And it wants to know where the start and end point are. So we're going to be very careful. We're going to go here to the triangle, and we're going to go out just a little bit. Notice the green line comes with me, and I'm going to click. Then I'm going to come straight across and make sure I hit that triangle. And very carefully, I'm going to go out just a little bit farther. I'm going to click. Okay. And I'm going to choose then right here. Right click, click continue. Okay, and it's going to allow me now to drag down and click down here and choose OK. And it creates an, a cutaway view, a section view is an interior view, and it has a cutting plane right here. So if I took a knife and I chopped this off, and I only kept, because this direction of the arrows is upward, if I only kept what was behind the arrows, so up here where it says your name here, I'm going to keep this section and this front piece I'm going to throw away. Okay, What we would see then is the interior of the shape, and it would look like this. These angled lines are the cutaway. Those are now visible surfaces that were not visible earlier. Okay, And I can see the inside of the shape. That's going to be pretty convenient. I am going to take this section AA and I'm going to drag this up so it gets it out of the title block. That's very important. Okay, And we have that placed now. Now we're also going to go through and I'm going to place one more base view. And I'm going to place not the front view but a nice home view of my shape. I'm going to make sure that I use 0.75 for the scale, just like I do with everything else. And I'm going to make sure that this is shaded. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to place it somewhere down here. Click OK. And we have our views set up. OK, we're almost there. Now our job is to go through and add all of the dimensions. OK, so at some point in time, you probably want to pause this so you can copy my dimensions down. 
then you can see because you're going to create something that looks exactly like this for me. Okay. So I'm just going to do this one here and I'm going to let you do the rest of them. How do we dimension this counter bore that has a diameter of 0.375 that goes all the way through? And then remember that's this piece here. And then we have the counter bore itself, the bore part at the top that has a diameter of 0.75 and a depth of 0.25. So diameter of 0.75 depth of 0.25 with the counter bore symbol. Okay, let's go back and let's do that one. And if you can do this one, you can do the rest pretty easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click on dimension. I'm gonna choose the outermost circle. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna click, okay, right click and okay. So this is placed, but it doesn't have all the information that I want. So what we're going to do, you'll notice that that is the counter bore height. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to double click on it and it allows me to edit. Okay, now inside of here is automatically inside this, this greater than, less than sign that looks like HTML stuff. That is auto filled based on the actual part file. But outside of that, I can edit. Okay, so I'm going to move my cursor over. I'm going to type in this. Ready? I know that I have a symbol for diameter of point. 375. Why is it not typing? Let's try this again. 0.375. I'm going to hit space. And then I know that that 0.375 has a depth of one inch. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to hit enter and it allows me to put a line break in. And then I know that I have a counter bore that has a diameter of 0.75 and it has a depth of a quarter inch. And I just realized I did that wrong because this counterboard doesn't have a depth of one. This one goes all the way through. There we go. Okay, the countersink has the depth of one. So I'm just going to hand type this stuff in. So it has the shaft is first, 0.375 all the way through, and then the counter bore is underneath in the second line. I'm done with that. I click close, or I can hit enter, and I've finished that di dimension. You need to go through and add dimensions for this hole, this hole, and this hole. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, I guess I'll show you that one real quick. We're going to click on that one. You'll click on a leader text. Come over here. We're going to select this right here, and we'll place the leader text over here, and we'll have to type that one in by hand, okay, a little bit trickier. So we'll type in 1 quarter dash 20 UNC B, shift and enter, okay, quarter 20 UNC B, and then let's go back to this. It needs to say depth of 0.75. So we come over here, add a symbol for depth of 0.75 whoops gotta come click on this 0.75 when i'm done i hit enter oh that didn't work hit close and you have that one added as well okay you can go add the countersink and the clearance hole on your own hopefully that makes sense when you're done make sure you fill out the title block this is going to say 5.5 hole types make sure you change the date and the author for your name Make sure that it all shows up, up like that. And at the end, you will output a PDF and turn the PDF into me. If you have any questions on how to do this, please do not hesitate to ask. Ask a neighbor. Ask me. Get it done correctly, though, and make it look exactly again, like mine.